Hey guys, I'm back with another driver test video. These seem to be really popular, people seem to like them. Today I'm testing the Dayton RS225-4, that's the 4 ohm version. If you caught my last video, I used a speaker that uses this driver in it, so I figured, hey, while I'm at it, I'm going to grab the test data, throw them up on my Dropbox link so people can download it and start using it in XM, and tell you a little bit about the driver while I'm at it. The thing is, I'm going to keep this one pretty brief because this driver has been around for a long time, it's really popular because it's pretty good and there's a lot of reviews and information about it so you don't really need me to go into it. So first of all just some quick shots of the driver. It looks great all around. It's a real beauty. People seem to love the looks of this thing. It's black, it's got a metal cone, uh, decent cast basket and nice all around looks and build quality is solid. So here's the test data. You can see the baffle step from a baffle of 11 inches. Uh, this is to be expected and um, looks about right. It's got a bit of a baffle step peak right around 1000 Hz. Uh, everything's really nice and smooth and starts to dive off above 1500 Hz. When I plug it into XM, like you see, everything sort of falls into place for about 1000 Hz too. Or down, you can go down from there. Um, but below 1000 Hz has great uh, performance, excellent bass. I almost forgot to talk about the bass. Considering this is a woofer, most people are going to use it at the bottom of their speaker for the low end support. Possibly use this with subwoofers, it's not the biggest woofer out there. But in general, it does do very well on its own. <clears throat> I do advocate for subwoofers, but you could use this as a standalone. I didn't measure the TS parameters for this review. Again, I'm trying to keep it brief. And I've had about five of these, six of these through my hands, and they all measure pretty bang onto factory specs. So I would encourage you to use those factory specs and not be too concerned. about. You can see here a sealed 25 liter box, uh, you know, gets you down below 100 hertz easily and subwoofers can take over from there. Or in a tower design, about 55 liters, you can get excellent extension all the way down to 30 hertz um, with a ported cabinet. Check out Dropbox to download the data so you can play with this as well. Maybe try it out with the Vifa Mid and Valentech Tweeter that I already have up. And that brings me to the second part of this video. I got more drivers coming, guys. I just got my hands on a pair of these Modus 8-inch woofers. These are very um, obscure and kind of rare, and I'm very excited about them. They are not cheap. The other thing I got here was one of the or a pair of these beautiful Magnum 12 woofers from DIY Sound Group. Some of you may know that I work alongside Eric a little bit on designs like the 1099 and 1299. If you like this video, please watch this one or subscribe here. Please spread the word, forums, Facebook, whatever. Let people know about this. Thanks, guys. Talk to you later.